<coughs> hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying these videos I've been putting up, and I hope you're liking what I'm doing with the channel. Uh, it's been another big day. It's pretty late tonight, and so apologies if I look a little bit tired. Um, what is it? It's Thursday night now. So I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks for, for watching and subscribing. And if, you, if you're liking the channel or if you're new to the channel, then great. Stay on board because I'm going to really have a go at putting a bit more content out there and, and just sort of sharing some of the wild stuff we're doing. Again, I said in, a, in an earlier video that I really wanted this channel to be all about um, supporting one another, um, being open and honest about your mental health, um, and just getting out there and having a crack and sharing some of your adventures. And I'll get some other guys on board to come out and do some adventuring with me. And because I just love this stuff, it, it just, it just, yeah, it gets my blood, uh, makes me really happy to get out and into the wild places. So today I'm, I'm packing the truck and I'm getting it ready to go away again. Um, and you know, this isn't the first time I've had a crack at a few things before. So if, if you're new to the channel or you don't know much about me, so a couple of years ago I actually wrote this book, uh, self published book, Hunting Fear. And in this book, it actually does exactly that. It talks about um, a guy, which it happens to be me, just going out there and having a crack and, and doing some pretty incredible kind of stuff, uh, even if I do say so myself. So look, set the world record, published the book, and we had a great, a big book launch um, planned. And that just happened to be, that, that happened to coincide with that first weekend when we went into lockdown in 2020. So it was a real kick in the guts. And <laughs> it was a real kick in the guts. <clears throat> and so instead of getting this book out there, having a big uh, launch and getting some excitement around it, obviously um, COVID just took over our lives. So instead of selling a couple of thousand copies, I was, I was lucky to sell a couple of hundred. So I've got boxes and boxes of these things still. And, you know, people say to me, why, why, don't, why didn't you promote it? Or why didn't you... Um, you know, advertise it. Well, you know, I actually did, but just for the next two years of our lives, COVID just took over and it was front and center and everything. And yeah, look, just like everyone, I got pretty depressed. So, but now, you know, we're back into the swing of things. And I think it's about time. I really did have a crack at, at trying to promote this thing because look, you know, it is, I'll be honest, it is a cool story. Um, and I sort of pinch myself that, you know, when I tell people about this story or people hear about this story, that I pinch myself that it's actually me that I did these things and I actually wrote the book. And um, now I'm sort of trying to do some other cool stuff out there and, and get out and about. So if you haven't read the book, obviously go to my website and buy a copy. But so I'm actually going to make a promo video about, you know, just trying to hype people up about buying the book, getting amongst it. Uh, putting it in their, their own van or their own caravan if they're going to do a trip around Australia. So I thought I'd make this video just to um, to sort of try and promote this book. So I thought what better place to promote a book about traveling through the desert than going into the desert and actually making the promo video there. So we're going to do that. Um, so stick around. And the first thing we need to do is we need to get up to Rainbow and get up to the desert and put this promo together. So, grab your bags, let's go. Reset the mind. So, we're gonna have some breakfast. The sun is just about to pop over the horizon. Uh, it's a beautiful day out here in the valley. If you haven't been up, you should definitely get here. So, we'll go out and have some fun with this and um, <laughs> gotta do it. Just gotta do it. Okay, for those of you that don't know, 
where Rainbow is. And maybe this might help a little bit. But we are here, small town of Rainbow, which is uh, deep in the heart of the Wimmera Mallee, or just north of Little Desert National Park and just on the border of Big Desert National Park here. So today, to do this little video, I'm just gonna take the truck out through Big Desert State Forest here. There's a couple of tracks I've been up through before. Uh, there's a couple of sand dunes I got bogged on last time, but last time I was out here with the truck, I had uh, light commercial steel radials on, so we couldn't get the um, couldn't get them to expand out when we put the tire pressure down, so the truck was getting bogged. But now I've got the uh, the mud terrains on, so I can get the pressure right down, and we can see if we can go up there. And then we're just going to come back down through these tracks, back to Rainbow, and um, see if we can have a bit of fun out there. It's going to be nothing too crazy. <clears throat> I've got some sand tracks, obviously the jack, compressor on board, and a couple of shovels. So if we do get in a bit of trouble, we should be okay. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Just a bit of fun. You ready for an adventure, buddy? Hey! I look so excited. <laughs> having the time of his life. Hey, hey, you gonna protect me out here? You know how to use a winch? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <whistles> this dog, it's like a therapy dog for me. Okay, so I've just arrived at the start of the sandy tracks. I've just, um, again, I don't think these tracks are going to be anything too crazy today because I've, I've been through them all on a motorbike before. Um, I've put all the tyres down to 12 psi, and before I left, I've also taken the, the dust caps off the freewheeling hubs and I've engaged the rear axle. So I can just flick over to six by six on the run if I need to. Uh, look, I've even double checked everything. So there's a little bit of water in the tanks underneath, but not much, maybe 50, 100 liters. Obviously the pins on the rear drawer are down so that can't slide open. And everything else inside is all strapped in up top. Uh, everything's solid, secured, ready to go. Ah, the winch is there. Never mind about that. And yeah, we're all good to go. So we'll get this all closed up and get out on these tracks and make a promo video. Woohoo! like they've still had a fair bit of rain up here oh that is toxic mud and you can actually smell it they 
it's just been oh dog don't go in there it's not a game no. <laughs> you're gonna be walking home buddy um see another thing with this mud is obviously millions of years ago uh, all the big desert in the area used to be a shallow ocean so there's still a lot of salt in the soil I know I've been out here riding motorbikes and we've come through the mud in the past and then a day later your chain is just covered in rust so if you get this all over your body and all over your your chassis even though I'm got a galvanized dip chassis it just starts to corrode everything so you got to get through this stuff oh dog you're disgusting it stinks there's got to be a way around i saw some four wheel drive tracks through the bush over here so i reckon guys have come through here before and thought the exact same thing i am i thought they'll come around hey there's a couple of tracks through here you can see someone's come through there maybe if i can get through here i'll um I'll find my way through and if I need to trim some of these trees back uh, just to get the truck through I'll, I'll just trim some of the branches back with the chainsaw I think I can see some more four wheel drive tracks up there but there is no way in hell I'm putting my truck in that and for all you guys watching Oh, you've got mud terrains on. It's a six-wheel drive. You don't get through anything. Yeah, well, try being one up in the middle of the bush. Uh, it'll also sink in anything as well. I think at the moment it weighs just on four and a half ton. So, yeah, old uh, Odie is testing the water for me, testing the track conditions. Thanks, buddy. But, um... Also, if we got bogged in here, I'm looking up ahead, I'm obviously one up, even if I have my winch, there's no winching points or no recovery points up ahead. Whee! It's pretty slippery and slimy. So it would just be suicide, or full driving suicide to, to go through something like that, knowing there's no recovery points ahead. You'd be digging a big hole and spending a long time out here. Well, chances are getting on the radio, calling some farmer to bring his tractor out, and then they'd get out here and look at you and think, what the hell is this moron doing? And rightly so. But looking up here, yeah, you can see some trucks have been through here before. I found the track. So I'll just putt through on the high side here. Oh, here we go. Opens up. I'll putt through and um, get around this bog hole. Shouldn't be too much work, but it's all a bit of fun. That is the way. F get out of the water! <laughs> out. That is the way home. There we go. Moron! A bit tight. But she'll be right. Bye bye, bog hole. Fantastic. Like that, I'm gonna make my dog run for a little while. Come on, pooch! Dry off! Covered in mud! <laughs> there he is! Keep going, baby! You stink like a swamp! Don't go in that one! Oh, 
way. All right. Good boy. Come on then. Good boy. Come on, in you get. Let's go. Can you get? Good boy. Good boy. You having fun, buddy? Oh, now you're smiling. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Are you thirsty, buddy? Hmm? Hey. Ah. Oh, here we go. Come on. Yeah, okay. Good boy. Good boy. You're looking skinny, buddy. Up ahead of me up here, this is the dune. It's actually not that big. Uh, I guess deceivingly steep at the top. So when we were out here about, I don't know, August 2022, so 18 months ago or something, and the truck was uh, stock standard with um, with light truck tires on it. We couldn't quite get up it. It just wouldn't. It just would keep getting you know, only a meter or two from the top, and then just bogging down. So for me, this dune is a bit of a um, a bit of a monkey on my back or a thorn in my side. Um, like I mean, if the, if the truck can't get up this dune, then it certainly won't ever get up any of the dunes across some of central Australia. So what I'll do is I'll set up the drone. I don't think we'll have much problems today because we've got, again, the Yokohama mud terrains and they're, they're down nice and low. Um, but look, we'll get up there and hopefully we have no problems. And I think that's a really good spot to make this little promo video for the for the book sales. Um, and it's as good a spot as any. So we'll get the drone out and we'll see what we can get done. Have a look at that. I'm just getting under to have a look at the center wheel bearing, and that's fine. But I notice there's a stick. <laughs> it's obviously poked up through the chassis there. And it's just wedged itself right up under in here. It's only just missed the water pipe. There it is. And it's just come to rest. It's nearly speared the 12 volt that goes in for the water pump. And that's how close it is. Look how close it is to the tank water. Imagine if that, so if that had taken out the 12 volt power there, well then the pump wouldn't work. And that's also why I put a tap before the pump. So if the pump ever does fail, we can still manually get the water out of the tank. But look at that. That's how easy it would be for something to go wrong. Just a stray stick, rip it out your 12 volt. It's crazy. Let's try this in low range three. Get out of the way, dog. Well, we didn't quite get up. <sighs> Back to the drawing board on that one. So it's okay. I'm just gonna winch myself up the rest of the way. <sighs> and I also just realized that at 
the end of my driveway, next to my roller door, right next to a motorbike wheel changer, is the sand anchor. <laughs> Uh, so I'll see if I can find something to strap to or tie to on the other side Otherwise I'll dig a hole and get the tire in and do all that fun stuff as well But I do not want to be doing that <laughs> Alrighty Take this Take this Whew. Hope I got enough line ah, ta -ta -ta -ta. All of this for a freaking promo Hopefully it doesn't need much. Just a little bit of gentle persuasion. Pooch! <whistles> Fuck, don't tell me that's all the line we've got. <sighs> Now, pickings are slim. I'll see if I can get. There's a bigger tree down there. I'll get the snatch strap. Hoo-ya! Of all the places. I blame you, dog. You didn't get out of the way, and I couldn't get a fast enough run up. It's definitely your fault. It's definitely your fault. Oh, what a mess. It's probably a good excuse to clean all this shit up. You think you're having a time of your life, buddy? Well, to be honest, actually, so am I. I think life could be worse. Life could be worse. I could be putting a roof on. Come on, buddy. What, what, what? Oh look, what a game! Good boy, thanks for your help. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Something semi-solid in here. Um, oh, it's a nice one. This is probably as good as it's gonna get. What's up? You think this is funny, don't you? Are you? I think it's funny. One, two, three. Hits up. Alrighty. Hit, 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 hit. We're good. Oh. 
Well, I hope you guys are appreciating the view. Woo! Is that working? I hope so. <laughs> no, come on. Ooh. Ooh. No tension yet. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Ah, I thought I'd pull the tree out of the ground. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Here we go again. Dickhead me forgot to put the sand tracks in. We don't want to fall in that hole again, do we? Still recording. It's good. Back on.
old rookie mistake. I deflated these tyres down to about 12 or 10 psi. But obviously as we've been going along, the heat has expanded the air up to about 15 or 16 psi. So I've just taken them back down to 10 now. And hopefully that'll make a world of difference because last time we were out in the dunes at 10 psi, it seemed to crawl up everything. Jesus, it's soft. Come on, baby. Hopefully, Winchy Winch pulls up onto that. We'll see. Yeah! Oh, what a mission! I was hoping I'd get the shot of the truck coming up over there. But I'm just glad to be up to be honest. Thanks for your help buddy. Alrighty. I'll bring this forward just a little bit more. Lesson, rule number 750 of sand riding, put a rope on your sand tracks. <laughs> I've come all this way to make a promo video. To be honest, I just wanted to get out of Melbourne for a couple of days. What, you know, it's a good excuse to get out of town. And really, I've got to sell this book. I've written it, 
I set the world record. It's a goddamn crazy adventure. But this is not what this video is about. This video is about getting out here to make the promo. Now I've got to film the promo. Anyway, it is a great book. So it's going to be like a 30 second clip that needs to talk about why you should buy it, what it involve, what the benefits are to the reader, and how it differentiates from other books out there. And look, we're coming up to the traveling season again. You know, it's getting cold in the southern states. Victoria's turning into a wet shit fight. Everyone wants to go north or into the wild places, so it's a perfect opportunity to put a couple of ads out there on Facebook and uh, marketplace and all that kind of jazz and see if I can sell a few copies, you know, maybe a million copies. But really, I've written the book, I've done all the work to write it, publish it, live the adventure, and I just haven't done anything around marketing, so now I have to do that and I just... <sighs> I'm 40 years old. I do not want to be out here making a stupid TikTok-like video. You know, but at the other end of that, the other option is, well, just keep putting roofs on, mate. Keep loading roof tiles, and um, do that for the next 20 years of your life, and then maybe you can retire. But, uh, so I've got to put aside my own, um, oh, don't do it, you shouldn't bother you, people are gonna laugh at you. I've got to put that bullshit aside, and just do it. Just make a video that's gonna pop, that people are actually, that's gonna grab people's attention, and they might actually sell a couple of copies and you know it might be the best thing i ever did and if it's not then so what who cares who cares at least i made it having a crack and doing something fun um i mean how many people can say they wrote a book about setting a world record i don't know anyone else so that's the reality i've just got to get over my own self bullshit and make a video so it's got to pop it's got to grab attention it's got to have a point of difference and it's got to be entertaining. So I'm about to put my hula hoop skirt on and start dancing and do a TikTok. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, so I've got to write a script and maybe put the camera in some different angles and film a bit of stuff, get a drone shot. Alrighty, let's uh, leave it with me. Give me 10 minutes and we'll see what we can come up with. Hi, my name is Benji, and you should buy my book. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> Ever wondered what's up at the top part of Australia? <laughs> are, are you looking for your next adventure? <laughs> well, you wonder what the fuck I'm doing in the desert? <laughs> Do you ride motorbikes too? Wow, have I got a story for you. <laughs> oh, this is so shit. Well, at least I've found in the back of the truck my old kakadoo hat. So if I'm going to prom promote the part, I may as well look the part. I mean, I actually probably should have thought about this a bit more because I've got these old ripped pants on and my work boots and just my work clothes. So... I just hate, this is the part I hate. Like I'm talking to no one at the moment, but I feel like I've got to try and sell myself on this bloody promo. So, oh. <laughs> you want to travel Australia? Well, you can too. <laughs> If you're traveling to tra If you're planning to travel across Australia this year, then you need a copy. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck my balls. My balls. <clears throat> if you're planning to travel across Australia this year, then you need a copy of my book, Hunting Fear. <laughs> <clears throat> this is so fucked. If you're planning to travel across Australia this year, then you need a copy of my book, Hunting Fear. G'day, 
My name is Benji Brunden, and in 2019, I set a world record. <sighs> G'day, my name is Benji Brunden, and in 2019, I set a world record traveling across this vast country. The experience I had was so amazing, I felt compelled to share my story with others, and here it is. Not only is it a great read, but it has a detailed map. Not only. Not only is it a great read, but it has a detailed map in it. Fuck my balls! Not only is it a great read, but it has a detailed map in the covers that you can plan your own adventures. And inside the book itself, you'll find some little tips and tricks I learned along the way to help get you through some hard times. The book is available in e-reader, on Kindle, and all good. It also has... My God. <clears throat> Remember guys, life really is a daring adventure and you only get one shot at it. So what are you waiting for? Go on, get out there and explore this beautiful land. And I will see you in the wild places. other side no problems and I'm just putting some air back in the tires I've just got this new compressor so it's kind of cool see how long it takes to put these back up um, all in all I think it was a pretty good day I knew obviously I've been through those tracks before on a motorbike so it was really that last only that one June that gave us any kind of grief um, you know a couple of lessons we learned today Obviously look, 99% of the time it's great, but 1% of the time you need those sand tracks. I think one set of sand tracks is just not enough for a um, for a six wheel drive. So I'll get a couple more sets of sand tracks. I'm not gonna bother chasing all the sand tracks companies for sponsorship. I'm just gonna use this opportunity to thank Roof Line Solutions for their ongoing support. <laughs> so if you need a roof restoration done, call the team at Roof Line Solutions. Um, what else do we learn? What else do we learn? Oh yeah, plenty of water. Um, yeah, one set of sand tracks never enough, and even if you do go into the desert, I probably should have put the sand anchor in. I just forgot. So, and the other thing is the freewheeling hubs. Look, I really got to get the um, the leaking hubs issue sorted. I mean, I've got like a dust cap over the hub now, but it's it's a bit of a pain in the butt. To, um, to take that off and change it out of four, uh, six wheel or four wheel drive um, every time you want to change. So, I mean, they are great to stop people messing around with, you, with your hubs when you're not looking. Um, but if I can work out a way to stop those three wheeling hubs from weeping, I'll make sure I make a video about that. Um, but other than that, it was a great day. We got up, we got the shots we needed and um, the truck was just flawless again, that freewheeling, sorry, that center wheel bearing just didn't let go. No scrub marks, so we seem to have fixed that problem. And um, yeah, anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, just like and comment. And any uh, any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll make sure I get to them. But um, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, take care of yourselves, stay safe.